I'm finding it hard to talk. I'm so shy. So I've got a question for you, vloggers or vloggers, whatever. How do you do it? How do you capture stuff like when you're out in public? Let's say you're in a restaurant or something. How do you record and say stuff without being conscious of people looking around, without getting worried if you've said it? the wrong way or you've said something to offend them or whatever. I still feel a bit conscious and I feel that people are judging me. Well, my family is judging me right now. Well, you know, family, because they're so supportive, so they laugh at you and they bash you and they feel humiliated to be even related to you or something like that. See, that's family, you know. It's they support every endeavor that you have. So yeah, um, I wonder how you do it. Maybe it's years of practice, who knows. But the vlogging vlogging challenge for me is still on. I'm still gonna do vlogs and stuff. I've started this tea bag treatment because you know, I'm gonna be famous now since I'm going to dominate YouTube with my own vlogs and stuff and nonsense but I've decided to kind of make myself appear a bit better if that's even possible I need to wear this to look presentable so usually I'll just be my, on my PJs but since I'm going to be famous now I need to be a bit more presentable than that I finally watched Finding Dory I wouldn't go as far as saying that it's better than the first movie but it's actually good I really loved it there's something about Dory of course you always adore Dory because why wouldn't you there's something about the family thing blah 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 I wouldn't go too much into that I wouldn't even say that I teared up a bit <laughs> anyway there's not so much sequels as you know nowadays that it's actually if not better, but as good as the first movie. So, I've switched camera angles. I'm still trying to find out what is the best angle for me. I'm still new to this whole thing, you know, so what do you reckon? Anyway, Finding Dory. I'm still not finished with Finding Dory. Good on her to have friends like Marlene and Nemo who would do anything for her. She has a disability. Things get serious now. She has a disability, but she happens to constantly meet people who's actually okay dealing with it, or or who's actually trying to still trying to help her. And I guess in real life, I mean, I'm not saying that people don't help people in real life, but it's just I reckon in real life it's harder to be able to find that that people who would really be there for you would maybe they would no maybe it happens who knows i have no idea i'm ignorant as hell do you like my light box thank you again to the show for that <coughs> oh pardon me it's such a thing so there's this thing going on right it's called pokemon go it's crazy. How about I can... What if I write a song? What if I write a song? How ridiculous would that be? Since everybody couldn't stop talking about it. I'll sing about it. Okay. Let's do an impromptu songwriting about Pokemon Go. Let's see how this goes. I like those too much. I was walking down the street and something caught my eye. It made 
made a move and a sound I know to I was walking down the street and something caught my eye Made a move and a sound I know too Suddenly you pop up and show yourself And all at once my instincts told me Cause I got to have you Ooh. Isn't this a song right? I got to catch got to... Mm -hmm. Now I'm just <laughs> Got it Okay Whoa, What did you say? Got to get your fuck a bowl out Cause I got to So we can fight, so we can be it, so we can be the regime leader, take all the badge, claim victory, and catch them all, Pokemon Go. I should never do this again. <laughs> vibrate, vibrate. And then I, I took my phone out and I was like, hi, hello.